Anandamuth, Bengali, Anandamuth or Anandamoth lit. The Abbey of Bliss is a Bengali fiction, written by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay and published in 1882. It is inspired by and incorporates various contemporary acts of patriotism performed by Vasudev Balwan Fadka during his freedom struggle. Set in the background of the Sanyasi rebellion in the late 18th century, it is considered one of the most important novels in the history of Bengali and Indian literature. Its importance is heightened by the fact that it became synonymous with the struggle for Indian independence from the British Empire. Its first English publication was titled The Abbey of Bliss, literally Anand equals Bliss and Math equals Abbey. Vand Mataram, Hail to the Mother, first song to represent Bengal, or India, which is almost synonymous at that time as far as nationalism is concerned, as the mother the goddess Durga was published in this novel. Topic. Plot summary The book is set in the years during the famine in Bengal in 1770 CE. It starts with introduction to a couple, Mahendra and Kalyani, who are stuck at their village Padachina without food and water in the times of famine. They decide to leave their village and move to the next closest city where there is a better chance of survival. During the course of events, the couple gets separated and Kalyani has to run through the forest with her infant to avoid getting caught by robbers. After a long chase, she loses consciousness at the bank of a river. A Hindu monk, Satyananda, stumbles upon her and takes care of her and her baby until she reunites with her husband. The husband, Mahendra, at this point is more inclined towards joining the brotherhood of the monks and serving the mother nation. Kalyani wants to help him in attaining his dreams by trying to kill herself, thereby relieving him of worldly duties. At this point, Satyananda joins her but before he can help her, he is arrested by the British soldiers, because other monks were fueling revolt against the British rule. While being dragged away he spots another monk who is not wearing his distinctive robes and sings. In mild breeze, by the bank of the river, in the forest, resides a respectable lady. The other monk deciphers the song, rescues Kalyani and the baby, taking them to a rebel monk hideout. Concurrently, Kalyani's husband, Mahendra, is also given shelter by the monks, and they are reunited. The leader of the rebels shows Mahendra the three faces of Bharat Mata Mother India as three goddess idols being worshipped in three consecutive rooms. What mother was, an idol of goddess Jagadatri? What mother has become, an idol of goddess Kali? What mother will be, an idol of goddess Durga gradually, the rebel influence grows and their rank swell. Emboldened, they shift their headquarters to a small brick fort. The British attack the fort with a large force. The rebels blockade the bridge over the nearby river, but they lack any artillery or military training. In the fighting, the British make a tactical retreat over the bridge. The Sannyasi's undisciplined army, lacking military experience, chases the British into the trap. Once the bridge is full of rebels, British artillery opens fire, inflicting severe casualties. However, some rebels manage to capture some of the cannons, and turn the fire back on to the British lines. The British are forced to fall back, the rebels winning their first battle. The story ends with Mahendra and Kalyani building a home again, with Mahendra continuing to support the rebels. The song Vand Mataram is sung in this novel. Vand Mataram means, I bow to thee, mother. 
It inspired freedom fighters in the 20th century and its first two stanzas became the national song of India after independence. Topic: <laughs> Characters. Leading role Mahendra, a wealthy zamindar landowner, living in Padachina with his wife Kalyani and daughter Sukumari. They are forced to leave the village to find a new mode of living. Mahendra is initiated to the Anandamath by Guru Satyananda. The Guru orders Mahendra to use his wealth to manufacture ammunition for the Anandamath. Satyananda, the founder and main guru of Anandamath, a rebel group to oppose the British rule in India. His disciples are required to renounce their attachments until India is freed. Satyananda was acting upon the orders of his guru, a mysterious saint, who explains his true motives. The Guru explains Satyananda that Indians need objective knowledge from the British to once more understand the subtle truths of the ancient scriptures. Satyananda goes with his Guru to the Himalayas for penances. Bhavananda, a brave commander of Anandamath who dies during the battle against the British. Jivananda, the most accomplished and loyal disciple of Satyananda. He rescues Mahendra's family and reunites them. His wife and lover, Shanti, later becomes the first and only woman to join the Anandamath and fights alongside Jivananda. In the end Jivananda is grievously injured in battle but is revived by Shanti. The young married couple decide to go on a pilgrimage and live as ascetics. Nibbanananda aka. Shanti, she is the tomboyish daughter of a Brahmin and is well educated. Shanti was orphaned at a young age and became physically fit and strong. Shanti met Jivananda who married her out of pity as Shanti had no one to take care of her. Jivananda left Shanti as a part of renouncing his attachments and to fight for Anandamath. Shanti is left in the care of Jivananda's married sister. However, Shanti is deeply in love with her husband and cannot bear to live away from him. She disguises herself as a man and joins Anandamath as a freedom fighter. Satyananda tries to forbid her from entering, but he is shocked at Shanti's physical strength when she strings a mighty bow which only he and Jivananda were the only sannyasins to be able to do so. Satyananda allows Shanti to stay and gives her the name Navanananda. Shanti rescues Kalyani from dacoits. She gathers intelligence from the British and fights in battles alongside her husband. At the end of the battle, at nightfall, Shanti discovers Jivananda's seemingly lifeless body and grieves for him. Satyananda's guru gives Shanti a herb, with which she revives Jivananda. Shanti suggests Jivananda that they go on a pilgrimage and live together in a forest as ascetics, to which her husband reluctantly agrees. Topic. Commentary The novel was banned by the British. The ban was lifted by the Government of India after independence. The plot background was based on the devastating Bengal famine of 1770 under the British Raj and unsuccessful Sanyasi rebellion. Bankim Chandra Chatterjee imagined untrained Sanyasi soldiers fighting and beating the experienced English forces. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Film adaptation. The novel was later adapted into a film, Anand Math in 1952, directed by Heman Gupta, starring Prithviraj Kapoor, Bharat Bhushan, Pradeep Kumar, Ajit and Geeta Bali. 
The music was composed by Hemant Kumar, who gave a version of the Vand Mataram sung by Lata Mangeshka, which became a cult success. <laughs> 